Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to be making this video today because this will be my long-term review of the Brompton. And as you guys may have noticed, I completely love this bike. So before we actually start the video, let me just thank to all the 300 people that have subscribed to the channel this far. And it's been just a couple of weeks, so that was completely unexpected, but it really keeps me motivated to continue doing this. So everything that we're going to discuss today is based on my personal experience from using the Brompton on a daily basis for over two years as my main commuting bike. So there is a lot to share. I expect this video to be very informative, especially for those who are looking for a folding bike at this moment. I will cover seven aspects of the Brompton that make it truly unique. Um, because this video will be long, you can hover your mouse over the timeline of the video and skip to the sections that interest you the most. But I would highly recommend watching the whole video if you're looking for a new bike or if you are a Brompton owner, just to compare and see if you um, agree with me on those topics. And we're going to start by talking about the design of these bikes. And I'll start by giving you a general overview of my bike. So my bike is a Black Edition Raw Lacquer H6R Brompton. So it's a lot of names, a lot of codes. So let's break this down. Black edition means that the seat post, the crank arms, the mud guards, the rear rack, and the handlebars are all black. Typically they are silver and they're really nice silver as well. But I personally like the black a little bit more. Um, raw lacquer means that the color of this bike is kind of transparent. So you can see the goldish color of the welds through the paint finish and i really like this finish it's one of the premium ones and h6r is the actual model of this bike so h stands for the higher handlebars that give you a more upright riding position six is the number of gears that this bike has so this bike has two external gears there are two cogs here in the rear hub and it also has three gears that are internal to the hub and these internal gears are shifted through this small chain. Finally, the R in H6R means that this bike comes equipped with mud guards and a rear rack. So now that I gave you an overview of my bike, let's talk about the design of Bromptons in general because these bikes are made to last for years. And when I say years, I mean decades. A friend of mine bought a 20 year old used Brompton that is fully functional. And if you look at his bike, and if you look at my bike, an untrained eye cannot distinguish which one is the newer version and which one is the older version. And the reason for that is because Brompton makes slight changes to these bicycles over the years. They tweak a little bit the folding mechanism, they change the geometry just a little bit, but the general design of this bike has been established for over 30 years. So that is awesome because these bikes also retain their value for a long time. So now let's move on and talk about the folded size and the folding mechanism that makes this bike so small. So there are two main reasons for the Brompton being much smaller than any other folding bike. The first one is because while the vast majority of folding bikes have 20 inch wheels, the Brompton has 16 inch wheels. The second point is because the Brompton folds in a system of thirds. So what does that mean in practice? Well, while most folding bikes have a hinge here at the middle of the frame, splitting the bike into two halves, the Brompton has a hinge here and a hinge here that splits the bike into three parts. So let me demonstrate the folding process for you. So the first step to fold the Brompton is to release the rear wheel by engaging a tiny lever here behind the seat post. So once the rear wheel has been released, we can swing it forward underneath the frame. And now the bike sits in what's called a kickstand mode. I don't need to hold it up because at this point it's being supported by those four tiny wheels of the rear rack. Next step is to undo the main hinge of the frame. So you release the clamp and then we bring the front wheel back to the side of the rear wheel. There is a hook attached to the fork that locks to the chain stay and keeps the two wheels together uh, and also prevents it from separating. Now we can lower the seat post. We can fold the left pedal there's no need to fold the right pedal because it does not increase the width of the folded package. And finally, what we do is undo the hinge of the handlebar and let the handlebar fall with gravity and lock into place. So as you can see, this bike is tiny. It's so small, in fact, that some people bring them into the airplane as carry-on luggage and place them on the overhead bins. Even though I've never done that personally, 
that is surreal. Most folding bikes have 20 inch wheels and most people are used to those and they don't know how a Brompton compares. So just for visual comparison, I'll put a turn 20 inch wheel folding bike here and overlaid on the same scale, I'll put the Brompton so you can compare them visually side by side. What do you think about that? Leave me a comment down below. Another very common question that arises when I'm talking about the Brompton is how heavy it is. Well, mine has a lot of accessories, so it's on the heavier side at around, I would say, 14 kilograms or 30 pounds. But that doesn't really bother me that much. And the reason is because I very rarely carry the Brompton. And you may think, but how do you not carry your bike? Well, because it has these four tiny wheels at the bottom, what you can do is actually roll this bike around as if it was a regular rolling suitcase. There is another great advantage of these tiny wheels that usually goes unnoticed, especially if you bring your Brompton home, is that they keep the dirtier bike tires off the ground. So all the grit from the road that's, you know, all over your tires, they don't get in contact with the floor from your house. So that's pretty nice. So now let's move on to the third topic, which is integrating the Brompton with other forms of transportation, such as trains and buses. Even though this bike is so tiny, it still takes up some space. And inside of a crowded train or a crowded bus, you know, this could be disturbing to you and disturbing to others. So the best way that I found for traveling with the Brompton when standing up is to keep it in between my legs. That way I not only protect the bike, but I also minimize the footprint or the area that both of us occupy inside the vehicle. Of course, that doesn't apply if you're inside of an empty train or inside of an empty bus that you can just keep your bike by your side. But you know, this is the best way that I found for traveling with the Brompton and it's very convenient. Another great advantage of the Brompton that usually goes unnoticed is that the gearing system is encapsulated in between the two halves of the bike. What that means is that all those greasy parts, the chain, the derailleur, the chain rings, they're kept here in the middle. Most of other folding bikes have these parts exposed when they're folded. So there is a chance that you get your pants stained or someone else's clothes stained, which is even worse, you know? And it's nice to keep all the sensitive gearing system protected here in the middle. So now let's talk about comfort. And while we talk, I will start unfolding the bike. So the Brompton is my third folding bike. The first one was a 20 inch wheel between the second one was a 24 inch wheel turn and the Brompton with its 16 inch wheels. In the beginning, I thought the Brompton was gonna be uncomfortable because of the bad condition of the pavements in Brazil, but in fact, it's impressively comfortable. And in great extent, because of this part right here. Because this block, on top of acting as the latching mechanism for the rear wheel, it also acts as a suspension block. In this video, you can see that this tiny piece of rubber actually does an amazing job at absorbing all the imperfections of the road. You may ask me if this bob effect affects my performance when I'm climbing hills, for example, and personally, I haven't noticed any difference. The front fork, however, doesn't have such system, so it does transmit some of the vibrations to your hands and arms. But because the stem is so long, it actually flexes and bends a bit and that absorbs a lot of vibrations and make the ride a lot smoother. So, you know, for me personally, the Brompton is super comfortable and I'm completely satisfied with the comfort I get out of this bike. I like to ride it in the city. I like to ride long distances. I don't feel like distance is a limiting factor, even though this is a folding bike and people say, oh, folding bikes, you shouldn't be riding more than five kilometers. I just think this is so comfortable that I would ride 100, 200 kilometers on this bike with no problems. Now let's talk about carrying cargo on the Brompton. There are three ways that are carry cargo on this bike. The first one is using this plastic bracket here at the front, that's called a luggage block. The Brompton has a variety of bags that attach to this block. I happen to have one of the simpler versions here, but I love this bag. It's super convenient to go grocery shopping and stuff. And to attach this bag to the bike, all you have to do is slide the bag on top of the luggage block and it clicks into place. So it's that easy. And the bag is actually very firmly attached to the bike. There's no way the bag falls off. And to release the bag, all you have to do is just pull on the lever and it pops out. It's as simple as that. 
there's a great feature about these bags that even Brompton owners, they sometimes don't realize this at first, is that you can actually fold and unfold the bike with the bag on. So I'll demonstrate that. I will fold the bike on the regular speed that I usually do, just so you know how long it takes to fold the bike once you get the hang of it. So there we go, we have a fully folded bike. And what I do when I go grocery shopping with this bike is I bring both the bike and the bag inside the store and I roll it around using the handle from the bag, putting groceries inside. It may look like you cannot fit um, that many groceries in here, but you actually can. And there are bags that are even bigger than this one for that purpose. So now let me unfold the bike to show you the second way that I carry cargo on the Brompton. Again, I'll do this on the regular speed that I usually do. So after I finished shopping, I just bring it outside the supermarket and unfold like this. Done. Isn't this awesome? So the second way that I carry cargo on the Brompton is on the rear rack. You can use these elastic straps to fit a backpack, a large box, or other essential items, such as these two large pizzas and this box of beers. And finally, when I know that I'll be grocery shopping for stuff that won't fit on the front bag and the rear rack, what I do is I bring my Burley Travoy cargo trailer that attaches to the seat post. And the beauty of it is that you can combine all the three methods and carry a ton of cargo. So this, honestly guys, this is a cargo beast. I can go grocery shopping for two weeks for two people just on a single run on this bike. So it's amazing. Well, this video is not over yet, but if you have enjoyed so far, please give it a thumbs up. And now let's move on to the second to last topic of this video which are some accessories that I added to this bike that really make it unique. And I know I already mentioned the bag, for example, but now I'm gonna be talking about a couple more. This bike is equipped with a front dynamo hub that generates electricity for both my front light and my rear lights. And these lights are bright enough to increase the safety of my ride during the day, but it's at night when they really shine by lighting up the whole road ahead. I did upgrade these lights. I will leave a card to the video where I talk about the three best upgrades that I did to this bicycle. But bottom line here is that you will never have to recharge your batteries ever again because if the bike is moving, the lights are lit and you can turn that feature off so that even with the bike moving, the lights are not lit if you don't want them to. Secondly, let's suppose you have a flat tire on the road. What are your options? So you have a folding bike, you can fold your bike up, you can call an Uber, put it in the trunk and go home. Or you can carry a pouch of tools so that you fix the bike yourself on the side of the road, right? Well, the Brompton has a very convenient bike pump here on the rear triangle that you can easily remove and all the other tools necessary to replace a tire or to give basic maintenance to the bike are inside of the bicycle. You heard this right. So inside of this main tube here on the front portion, you have a toolkit with all the essential tools and on this longer portion of the tube, you have a spare tube. So I'll fold the bike again so we can have access to those tools. Once again, I'll do it on the regular speed that I usually do. I know you guys never get tired of seeing the Brompton being folded. It's an amazing process. It's so convenient, super fast. So yeah, there we go. So now that the bike is folded, you can have access to those tools. So on one side, we have the spare tube, and on the other side, we have the toolkit. Let me talk a little bit more about this one. So this is what the Brompton toolkit looks like. Inside of this aluminum shell, there is a plastic core with all the essential tools that you need to fix your tire. So here we have a sandpaper, a piece of sandpaper, some patches. Here we have a 15 millimeter spanner for you to remove your wheel. We also have a ratchet tool on the other side. We have two tire levers to remove your tires. And finally, we have different bits that can be used with the ratchet side of the wrench. So as you can see, this is a pretty complete tool set and it all fits inside of the frame of the Brompton. So now let's talk about one of the most important aspects of this review, which is the maintenance, customer service, replacement parts, and warranty. This topic is of paramount importance for folding bikes because these bikes have some parts that are brand specific. 
So s most of the parts of this bike you cannot find on a regular bike store, you know? And not every brand keeps replacement parts for more than a few years. So if you have a folding bike from a certain brand, in five years from now you need to replace a stem, you know? That part no longer exists because the company abandoned that model and that is a problem. I'm glad to say that Brompton holds replacement parts for many and many years. I know that my friend back in Brazil needed some replacement parts for his 20-year-old Brompton and he got them. There are some bike shops, for example, SJS Cycles in Europe or Clever Cycles here in Portland in the United States that they hold parts from the simplest nut to the most complex of components for many years of Brompton. So I just sit on the ground here because it was being painful. Um, I had a very positive experience with the customer service from Brompton. Back in December of last year, I had a problem with my bike because I broke the spin here. That's called a stem nipple. This thing is what keeps the handlebar locked to the bike when it's folded. You know when the handlebar drops and then locks into place? This guy is responsible for that. And if you don't have this piece, it's very inconvenient to transport the bike, you know? And this is welded to the stem. My main concern about this warranty process is that I bought this bike in the Netherlands and now I live in the United States. But anyway, I sent Brompton an email talking about this problem. This was a few days before Christmas. And to my surprise, three weeks later, this part arrived here in the United States at REI. I went there with the bike, they replaced it. So it was a very positive experience. So wrapping up, I think the Brompton nails every single aspect that we discussed today. I really love this bike. I really think the Brompton is the best folding bike in the world. It made my life better. Just the way it's so tiny, you can go anywhere with it. It's always with me and it's safe and it's fun and it's comfortable. And I know that I have the support from the factory. They really care about the customer. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. The main topic of this channel is bikes as a way to move around the city. So if you're into that, um, I would be very happy to have you in this community. And to all Brompton owners out there, please feel free to respond to other users' comments. I know that it's very important for anyone who's looking for a new bike to get feedback from real owners, you know, more than one. So your feedback will be greatly appreciated in the comment section down below. And to all of you, thank you. Stay safe and see you on the next one. Bye.